His new position as football department general manager was revealed on Monday afternoon after the club's full review of the department in the wake of a disappointing season. Bami, 64, had effectively been demoted at the Pies after the recent promotion of Graham Allen to the head of football role, and the former Melbourne coach, a veteran administrator and two stints at the Pies as well as eight years at Geelong, has crossed to the Tigers to take up their key football role. Richmond's Rebel Focus on Football ticket last week nominated Bami as its preferred head of football, however the Tigers say their approaches to Bami predated the Challengers lunch last week. Dan Richardson, who had been the club's football boss, will sit under Bami as general manager of football talent. Richardson is said to work closely with the club's recruiting and list management chief Blair Hartley. Matthew Clark has been promoted to sit below Hartley as national recruiting manager from after the 2016 draft, with longtime recruiter Francis Jackson moving to a part-time role. Meanwhile strength and conditioning coach Adam Douglas will leave the club, replaced by rehabilitation coach Luke Meehan, whose void will be filled by Rob Innes. A move to hire Bami to head the Tigers football department was the key platform of the rival ticket unveiled last week. While the group's leader Dr. Martin Hiscock applauded the decision to hire Bami, he questioned the Tigers' motives, while taking credit for the move. The board's choice of Neil and their plans for him are a carbon copy of our focus on footy plan. They may not be talking to us, but that's certainly listening. Hiscock said. Bami's appointment is yet another predictable example of a board motivated by self-preservation. Hiscock's group featuring 1980 Premiership players Brian Wood and Bruce Monteith, has also called for the full report of the review, but it's understood that won't happen for confidentiality reasons. Bami had been offered the role of Director of Coaching at the Holden Centre, but has opted to depart the club to which he returned at the end of 2014. Collingwood Chief Gary Perk said the club had hoped to retain the one-time hard man but understood Bami's choice to make the short move down Olympic Boulevard. There is no doubt that Bami would have added some real value to the program in a newly created role as director of coaching. However we respect his decision and thank him for his friendship and service to the Collingwood Football Club over the past two years, Pert said.